Hello, hockey fans. My name is David. I would uh, start this recording at uh, 11.28 on the evening of Tuesday, 31st of May, 2022, North American Eastern Time. What I would do is, uh, well, first start off with uh, the impressive effort of uh, the Canadian adult men's team at the IHF World's Top Division Tournament. A uh, very close game in overtime to its Finnish counterpart, and uh, a, well, a well-earned silver medal. Uh, the U.S. adult men's team, once again, sucked in, in, in the bronze medal game, and yeah, no medal for it, no, no medal for it. No gold or silver since, 1950s, no, since the 1950s, if the World Championship Series hasn't been part of the Olympic Games. And in 1930, since last time, the American adult men's team won a gold in a standalone world championship. Pretty long time, isn't it? Well, we'll see, you know, maybe next year. So I'll we'll take for now. That, you know, championship's over. We've got a few other hockey championships administered by the International Ice Hockey Federation, including uh, the under-18 Women's Worlds in June, uh, the under-20 Men's, also known as the Junior Men's, and our World Juniors, you know, early in August, and then later in the month, start the Adult Women's Worlds. Should be some exciting summer of hockey. <clears throat> oh, it's going to look at the commercial there. And, uh, but I'm going to talk about as well the, uh, the, re- the game one of the Oilers Avs uh, Western Conference Final. It was an it was an ugly one in terms of the one. Just watch the press conferences. You know, Leon Dreisaitl, Connor McDavid, uh, Mike Smith. Uh, what should be called? Mike Flop. <laughs> yeah. And uh, oh, we'll forget here. What was there? Star on Earth was there? Whatever it was. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well. I don't, you know, for me, I think, you know, the claim by Drysdale stood out that the Oilers shouldn't have given up three goals in the first period. He's right. I mean, you know, for me, there was this controversial, you know, delayed offside call. I hope one day the NHL can clear things up on that. You know, maybe put in automatic reviews of, of, of situations that are like that instead of a coach's challenge. That said... Yes, the others were down by one goal, and they kept things close in the end. But it doesn't change a thing about what happened. Well, you know, uh, uh, Jay Woodcroft, the head coach, is uh, was up is up on the podium as I'm speaking. I'm going to just rewind through that press conference a little bit later. But the bottom line is this: six goals. Should have been enough for the Oilers to win that game. Certainly, when it comes to the power plays, from the short from the special teams, the Oilers had two penalties that they took. Well, it was one of the bench minor that you know was you know wasn't really you know good. Couldn't kill it off. Uh, and thanks to Kadri from Landeskog and Rantanen, they you know, put the Avs up four two at that point. Well. But, but with also with Nuge coming up huge in the third period at the 12.36 mark from Dreisaitl and McDavid to even up the special team's goals at one apiece. Neither team scored on the other's power play. Well, the Avs, Avs outshot the Oilers 47-37. Uh, Oilers out hit the Avs 46-34. But with the Avs uh, having 21 blocks for the Oilers 15, giveaways are 6. Face-off, the Oilers ended up winning 54%. Uh, but at the end of the day, the Avs made their possessions count for more. And yeah, 8 goals. Ugh. Mike Smith becoming Mike Flop. My God. Ugh. Ugh. I can't believe it. So I'm just going to recap a little bit briefly in the first period. Things were looking good in the first. 
504 mark. Van der Kane from Nugent Hopkins and Yamamoto. So Nuge came up huge uh, with at least one goal and one assist. Just going to check uh, the official statistics the, for the game in question. Uh, yeah, one goal and one assist. Uh, I'll see one goal and an assist. Albeit with a minus two. Ugh. All right, I'm just going to go and then just, you know, not even 40 seconds afterward, in the turn of JT, JT Comfer from Newhook and Burakovsky uh, to tie things up. 15-10 mark with the turn of Nate, of Nate McKinnon to put you know, from Taves and McCarr, it was John Taves, to put one past Smith. But a bit under four and a half minutes later, it was the turn of Zach Hyman to assisted by Kulak and McDavid to put one past Darcy Kemper. All right, let me just see here for... Where did Fran Francouz come in? Oh. I thought it was, uh... All right. Yeah. Not until, uh... Yeah. Not until the third period. No, I'm sorry, folks. But... So then, Camel Carr, just seconds later, unassisted, puts the Avs up 3-2. It's a controversial call. You know, some claim it was, should have been delayed offside. It should have been offside, others no. Whatever it was, it was just it was done good. They always didn't do it to themselves any good by giving up you know, three goals in one period. And at one point I thought, oh, you know, my hometown Leafs put up a defense, defensive gem in their first round series against the Lightning. Yeah, it looked like at one point the Oilers were on page for giving up nine goals. The Oilers gave up eight, but you know, my prediction, you know, the pace was pretty close. Ugh. All right, so, sorry to add, the computer sometimes just put the light out. <laughs> so I'm going to go with the second period early on. From Kadri, former Leaf from Lanskog and Ranchadin on the power play. Put the, put the Avs up 4-2. And it was kind of a battle back and forth. Ryan McLeod of the Oilers. Then Ranchadin of the Avs. Comfort of the Avs. Cogliano of the Avs from O'Connor. And then McDavid. from Drysdale and Kane. And by the time all said we're done, it was 7-4 in favor of the of the Avs. <laughs> Ugh. And it was one tweet that oh, it was going to be a miracle. It was going to take a miracle for the others to win. Well, yeah. It, you know, <laughs> at that point, I thought, oh no, <laughs> are the others ever going to come back? Well, they almost did, but still, a case of just too little, too late. So, the first, third period, Derek Ryan from Zach Cassian and Evan Bouchard uh, brought the others to within two. Then it was uh, a bit over nine minutes later. It was time, you know, Nuge, Ryan Nuge Hopkins, coming up huge. From Dreisaitl and McDavid, before Landers Cog, very late in the third, with a bit over 20 seconds to go in the regulation. On empty netter, made sure the Avs would end up winning that game. My God, things are just ugh. Oh God. <laughs> game was entertaining, yes, but the Oilers have to really tighten up their defense if they're going to win this even a game in the series. That's what they have to do. To be fair, the the my hometown Leafs did during the nineteen ninety three. Norris Division semifinal with the Red Wings come back to win that game, that series in seven after having gone down two nil on the road. Leafs ended up winning two at home and then ended up winning game five in Detroit. Wings won game six in Toronto. Leafs won game seven in Detroit. I mean, it's not always good to just win all games at home, and then lose a whole bunch, lose all on the road. I mean, the Canes tried, you know, the Carolina Hurricanes tried that strategy, ultimately failing in seven games the Rangers. Canes didn't win, couldn't, didn't win a game, on, didn't win a game on the road. At home, 
Canes went three, you know, three and one in that uh, in the Rangers Canes series. But uh, on the road, in the Madison Square Garden, the Canes went zero and three and ended up being bounced. So yeah, it's so on to game two, the uh, Western Conference Final. I'm really hoping for an for a bounce back by the Oilers, but they got to figure out a way to tighten up defensively. And man, Mike Smith. I don't know, you know, whether Coach Woodcroft or the Oilers will decide to put in Koskinen, but Koski was good in uh, you know, in game, you know, game one, giving up just one goal after Smith had given up a truckload. That said, you know, it's just Woodcroft has a tough decision to make for game two. I mean, I don't know if Mike Smith's going to go in, but God, it's just. That game turned out to be. <laughs> I'm just think of the title of the song or uh, who's this song by Eric Clapton and all here. Running on faith, Eric Clapton. Remember that you know back in the day, you know, 1989 on the Unplugged album. Lately, I've been running on faith. <laughs> what else can a poor boy do? <laughs> and maybe this is the song titled <laughs> Running on Fumes. <laughs> yeah, it be just kind of a mental lyrics a little bit to that song. <gasps> running on fumes. One, two, three, four. Lately, I've been running on fumes. <laughs> What else can a poor team do? <laughs> thank you, Clap. Thank you, Eric Clapton, for the inspiration. Running on faith, a famous song of his, maybe for that, you know, that theme song for that game the Oilers played, should be called, should be retitled, "Running on Fumes." <laughs> I'm not gonna play the whole song for copyright reasons. You didn't even play a word of the song there. Just take you know, a few words of that. But still, just ugh. ugh. The Oilers did run on fumes, and they can't afford to do so again because otherwise, they would be going down <laughs> in four games. It'll be what a shame after a after a very successful playoff uh, run. Anyway, keep the faith, Oilers fans. I'm a fan of the Leafs during the regular season and the preseason, but during the postseason, now that the uh, I don't know that. The Leafs are out, uh, rooting for the Oilers because they are not a—they're uh, not the Habs. Uh, the Habs team having won more Stanley Cups than the other Canadian teams combined after 1967. So yeah, let's go Oilers. Let's see what Game Two brings. It's going to take place on Thursday, second of June, North American Eastern Time, in uh, at Ball Arena in Denver. Good night for now. It is now 11.41 on the evening of 31st of May, 2022, North American East Time, 9.41 in the mountain time zone in which Colorado and Alberta, the time zone that serves both Colorado, home of the, the home state of the Avs, and Alberta, home province within Canada of the Oilers.